Uh, hi folks, uh, I'm here to talk about my experience uh, to do with the uh, American Association for Hand Surgery and uh, American Surgery for Hand Therapist uh, International Reverse Therapy uh, Fellowship. This fellowship was created to be able to sponsor a therapist from a developing uh, country to come and get uh, expert education and uh, to come back uh, home and uh, train other therapists and improve uh, patients' uh, care. So my fellowship started uh, in Washington DC when I attended the annual meeting for the American Society for Hand Therapists. It was a very good opportunity. I had a, a very good exposure, good uh, networks. So to add, uh, I had a warm reception and a valuable time spent uh, both at Philadelphia Hand Shoulder Center and uh, hospital for special surgery in uh, New York. I must uh, admit that uh, it was very humbling uh, to rub shoulders and network with a real owned hand surgeon and hand therapist uh, in the US. What I took home uh, this is what I want to discuss and uh, number one is I worked directly with world uh, real surgeons and therapists to be able to fabricate uh, orthotics, facilitate uh, therapeutic interventions and also had a very good opportunity to be able to see how they provide their home programs to the US uh, patients. Number two, I had excellent clinical methods who helped me to, to enhance my clinical reasoning and my clinical practice uh, skills. Number three, uh, I had also mentorship from uh, a team of clinical hand therapists and apex specialists across the whole center. Uh, that is Hospital for Special Surgery and Philadelphia Hand Shoulder Center. Then number four, I was able to utilize my current evidence uh, based knowledge when applying advanced hand therapy assessments and interventions during uh, the clinical practice for a variety of upper extremity conditions. Again, I participated in a very wonderful uh, journal club that was made possible by the Philadelphia Hand Shoulder Team uh, where we did uh, have a group participation in terms of uh, discussing the most uh, current uh, trends when it comes now to scientific uh, articles in relation to hand surgery and hand therapy. Number six, I have increased professions in identifying and implementing adjunctive modalities, uh, some manual techniques and uh, uh, wound care. I also found out in both host centers, there's what we call uh, the upper extremity interprofessional teamwork, which is something that uh, we don't really have here back in Kenya. But uh, I must say, I also got some leadership and skills uh, development from both of the host centers. And I may not be able to exhaust all of the benefits, but I must say that I'm very happy to be able to get that uh, opportunity. And I promise you, I'll be able to give the very best to our uh, Kenyan therapists and our patients. And I also promise to keep on having very uh, many hand therapy trainings in Kenya, so that uh, I can be able now to extend this knowledge to our uh, therapist in, in Kenya.
I'd like to mention briefly the condition that uh, we saw over there. Some of the conditions that I, I happened to see uh, the both are all centers. The one was uh, fractions. I saw fractures, uh, supracondylar fractures, many distal radius uh, fractures, thumb fractures. I also saw uh, some proximal humeral uh, fractures. Uh, number two, there were also nerve-related uh, injuries. Uh, a lot of uh, flexor tendon uh, injuries and also extensor tendon injuries and also some vascular injuries. Also, uh, there was a lot of uh, repetitive uh, uh, strain injuries, the cumulative trauma like a couple channel uh, syndrome. Also, I saw so many cases to do with post-surgical upper extremity uh, conditions. Uh, for the first time, I, I did uh, uh, witness uh, uh, like uh, the CMC arthroplasty. For the first time, also so total elbow replacement, uh, which is something that we've seen back here in Kenya. And also, we had a lot of uh, sports-related uh, uh, upper extremity uh, conditions, and also uh, I should not forget arthritic conditions to do with osteoarthritis, uh, and many, many more other conditions. Finally, I would like to extend my deepest uh, gratitude to uh, American Association for Hand Surgery and American Society uh, for Hand Therapist Selection Committee for awarding me this inaugural International Device Therapy Fellowship. The aim of this uh, fellowship was to be able to help me get the best education so that when I come back to Kenya, I'm able to offer the best expert education to our fellow therapists and uh, in return be able to give our patients the best care possible in Kenya. And also I'd like to, to say that I uh, already have started utilizing this uh, newfound knowledge in our facility at uh, Pony Occupational Health Therapy Services and the patients are very, very, very happy with uh, the newfound uh, skills that uh, we already have. And I've been able to uh, offer some trainings in our Kenya Occupational Therapist our annual meeting, which was held uh, last November, and we were able to train uh, the rest of the therapists in, in Kenya with my team that comprises of Winnie Wamaira and uh, Dominic uh, Kipkurui. So I might say thank you and thank you very much for this uh, wonderful uh, opportunity. At our clinic, uh, we are proponents of continuing professional education. 
with uh, a passion towards creating innovative methodologies that promote patient outcomes and uh, organizational success. At a personal level, I'm a dedicated hand therapist focused on driving leadership within the profession, specifically the importance of hand therapy role on interdisciplinary care teams. Also, we emphasize uh, evidence-based intervention, application of research at our clinic, uh, and this is normally done during uh, mentorships with fieldwork students and uh, clinicians. And lastly, as I conclude, I welcome conversations regarding any new partnerships or funding opportunities towards improving patient care and expert education at our clinic based in Mombasa, Kenya. Thank you.